guys, welcome back to the channel. I have an exclusive first look for you on the Alpha Rex Nova Series headlights. They're getting ready to debut at SEMA, but I got a set and we're gonna put it on the Bronco, so stay tuned. Buckle up, Buttercup! I am really excited about the Alpha Rex new Nova Series headlights for the Bronco. There's a couple features about these headlights that you need to know. If you like the Raptor look, you're able to get that look with these headlights. You can have the, the halo driving light and the bar be amber just like the Raptor, but you also have the option to keep the white lighting with the stock Broncos if you like that. But not only that, you can also customize it where you have just the amber halo, white bar, or you can have the amber bar and the white halo. So you can configure these how you want them before installing them. And I'll show you how to do that in just a little bit. But with all that said, I think it's time to get started and in installing these on Buttercup. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the installation. The first thing I need to do is, of course, undo my limb risers because you don't wanna raise the hood with these on because you might give your hood a little boo-boo. And then I'm gonna pop the hood and then we're gonna start by removing the grill. And then from there, we'll remove the headlights. Removing the grill is fairly easy. We're just gonna pop off these tabs. There's gonna be nine of these tabs that you're going to remove. Okay, I got all the tabs out, and now you're just gonna pop this up. Just like that, set that to the side. Now I've got a 10 millimeter socket. I'm gonna remove these four bolts. Once these four bolts are removed, I'll be able to take the grill completely off. Now that the bolts are removed, to remove the grill, it's real easy. They're just in with little snaps. You just give it a little tug, and then it's gonna pop out fairly easily. Ooh, look at all that dirt. Just like that, and then you can remove it. I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter socket. There's a bolt here that I'm gonna remove. There's also another one right here that I'm, that I'm going to remove. And you could easily take this valance off, but see, I have a winch right here, so it's gonna make it a little difficult to pop off. So with that, I'm going to use an eight millimeter wrench to just remove this bolt. Now that I have the bolts removed, there are little pins right here in the corner of each headlight that I need to remove. I did run into a little issue with this valance. So I was able to unsnap it enough to be able to get this bottom part of the light to clear. And then you just pull this out and the only thing that's left and is connected is the wiring harness. Like I mentioned earlier, you're able to configure the way you want these running lights to go. Now to change that, you're gonna go to this little port down here. You're gonna remove these screws and this is where you're gonna go to change if you want the amber, the regular LED. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you all four configurations on here, and then I'll decide which one I'm gonna go with. I don't know if I want the amber or just the regular LED. Fresh out of the box, it is wired to be similar to the signature lighting. We're gonna have the white LED bar, the white LED halo. I'm gonna go through how to wire it to achieve the look that you want. But before I do that, I just wanna do a side-by-side -side comparison of the signature lighting headlight compared to the Alpha Rex headlight. The starting sequence of these headlights are awesome. There's also sequential turn signals with this. So if you look at the left with the new lighting compared to the signature turn signals. Okay. 
You got to see the comparison with the signature lighting with this, which is really awesome. This is the white LED lighting. So we're gonna take this headlight out and see how we need to wire it up to get just the halo amber, keep the bar white, or if you want the whole thing amber, we're gonna show you how to do that too. To change the configuration of the lights is really simple. The six pin right here, if you want the amber halo, you're just gonna connect these like that. And then if you want the bar amber as well, you're gonna connect this. You can also configure these where you just have the amber halo, the white bar, and vice versa, or you can have the whole thing like the white LED. So there's a lot of different options here and it's fairly simple to change. I decided to go with the white signature lighting look with the white halo, the white bar. I just prefer that look. I know everyone's really crazy about the amber because of the Raptor. It does look good with the green, but I just, I just don't think I could do it I really like the white LED look. So that's what I decided to do. I'm gonna put this little port back together and then install the headlights. The headlights are in and I love it. I mean, video pictures do not do it justice. In person, these things look aggressive. They look just awesome with the gloss black grill. They kind of give it that smoky look with the four projectors. It just looks incredible. I cannot wait to see this tonight. I do have footage that I took before installing these of the signature lights, so we can kind of compare the two. Overall, very satisfied, but the real test is gonna be tonight when I actually get to see them in the dark, but looks wise during the day, fantastic. That's gonna wrap it up for this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, become a YouTube channel member, become a patron, and always buckle up, buttercup.